What's up YouTube, Intricate Explorer here today. I'm an adventure photographer and today I'm at one of the most beautiful campuses in the nation and I'm doing it in the dark. And I don't know why I'm going this way. Why the fuck am I going this way? For reference, I actually did go to college here, so I know this campus fairly well. Oh shit, there's some shit going down there. Stealing some bikes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, those bikes they got. I think it's the police rounding up old bikes that are just left here on campus. Yeah, guys, check out this campus. Look at that building. That's the visual arts complex, and there's actually an art museum on campus right there. Check that out. Nope. So the fun thing is, I actually did a vlog on C Boulder campus at night, I wanna say like a couple of years ago. It had to be like exploration number like below the hundreds, so a long ass time ago. I'm excited to come back today and see what kind of shots I can get to change it up from that vlog. Love is good, love can be strong, and gonna get it right back to where we started from. All right guys, so fun fact, I actually slept right there one night in college on the ground. It's like this heater right here, and just visiting Boulder for the summer because I was a freshman, didn't have my dorm anymore, and I was supposed to see my girlfriend. I was gonna sleep at her place. But random shit happens, and her parents decide they were gonna come up and surprise visit her. We just started dating, so it wasn't really acceptable for me to just spend the night with her. My phone died, and I didn't have any money, so I ended up missing the bus back to Denver to get home, and I literally didn't have anywhere to go. So I just walked around Sea Boulder campus and slept there under the heat of the night one night. It was brutal. Yeah, guys, just look at the architecture in this place. It's fucking insane. This campus is like a dream. Also a longboarding dream, too. Check out this hill. Boom, just goes forever. It's so fun to longboard down. Here's the infamous buffalo-shaped pool, guys. I wonder if I could fly a drone above the pool and get a shot of it from above. I just gotta make sure there's no police officers or anything around. Oh, I think the best spot to get over is right here. I'll climb over that. Boom, check that out. So I'm gonna lay it right over there, drones above it, get a nice aerial shot. Uh, all right, that was super dope. Let's see what else we can find. Dear God, what is that sound? It's so fucking loud. It's like echoing throughout the entire campus. what's making all that fucking noise. Look at that thing, is that like an AC unit for the entire school? Jesus. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that just look haunting? It's like perfect symmetry, perfect lighting. I love it. God damn, this place is just so majestic. One tip that I have for you guys in terms of symmetry, because symmetry is ridiculously important in shots like this. I am super OCD about this. If something isn't lined up perfectly, it annoys me. So what I like to do is I look for lines in the concrete. Let me show you. So check this out. See how there's a straight line right here? And if you follow this line forward, it goes straight up the building right in the middle. So what I can do is I can put my tripod front leg right on that line and make everything perfectly symmetrical. Not all buildings are gonna be like this, but if it's built in a place with a degree of professionalism, you'll find a lot of straight lines, and it'll help photography significantly. Hello, Moto. Look at this. Whoa. This campus is absolutely massive, guys. When I first got here, it took me almost a week to be able to figure out and remember where to go because it's just so freaking big. Check this out, guys. This is the CU Stadium, like where the CU Buffs play, Folsom Field. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Look at that. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? It looks doable, but I'm like, my hips get stuck. Gotta find another way. All right guys, so I think this is the best way to get into the stadium. Obviously it's a little funky, but like there's a legit way I feel like you can just hop over that. So I'm going in. I am officially in. So let's go to the stadium down here. So before it gets too dark that you can't even see my face, I wanna do a long exposure shot, wide angle. I wanna get like the whole field in the view. So that's what I'm going for. Check this out guys, right in the middle of the field. I know you can't really see much cause there's literally no lights on in here, but it's fucking awesome. I've been trying out a bunch of different compositions. Firstly, I went up the this staircase here a little bit and uh, see if I could use those things as a leading line. It just added too much complexity to it. So I ended up just wanting to get a shot of just the field in full view. So check out the shot. You can even see the stars above. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and see if I can find some other shots around campus. To be 100% honest, guys, that's more of a trophy shot to me than anything. There's so many lights going on and some weird flares in the sky and it's just shadows. And there's a lot going on in the pic that's kind of hard to control, so it's not nearly as perfect and symmetrical as I would like. But it is a great achievement for a school that I did go to a long time ago. So I'm happy with that shot. That's one thing that I find interesting in photography is sometimes you just gotta take shots for you. You know, sometimes it might not be the most beautiful or technically perfect shot that the audience is gonna love to see, but you know, it has a lot of emotional attachment to me. You gotta like block that out and realize that, you know, a lot of photography is for you and not just like this perfect audience and those imperfections are sometimes overlooked by the heavy emotions that you can feel in a certain photo which can also be your downfall inevitably as well because a lot of times people don't realize what they're doing wrong and why their photos aren't getting a lot of attention and perhaps it's because it has so much emotional attachment to you or achievement in it that you feel it's a much better photo than it actually is. For example, like you can climb Mount Everest, but if you get on the top of Mount Everest and you just have a really shitty, blurry, out of focus photo, it might be the best photo you've ever taken. Maybe the hardest photo you've ever taken. But at the end of the day, it's not a technically good photo that really captures everything of the scene. It's just a photo that you happen to get and you feel emotion because you went through so much shit to get there. So sometimes you gotta step away from your emotions or step into your emotions depending on the photo that you're getting. All right, well that's enough philosophy for you. Let's go have some fun. You guys see those two shadows on the ground? It scared the fuck out of me. I was lining this shot up, and since there's two lights, they're both shining different shadows. Freaked me the fuck out. I thought someone was like right behind me for a second there. Either way, not that great of a composition for a few reasons. One, this side is lit up right here, and notice how this side isn't. So it creates that like imbalance that just, you know, doesn't fit right with my shot. There's just too many random lights going on and just creating all these weird situations. Like, see how this tree's lit up here differently than this? I don't like that unsymmetry, so I'm gonna move on to something else. So we used to do this thing freshman year of college where we would literally go out at night, 1 a.m. around campus and just break into whatever buildings were open which in our terms basically just meant try every single unlocked door and eventually find one that was unlocked. And we found a bunch of buildings that ended up just leaving these places unlocked overnight so you could explore the inside of them in campus. And what we would do is we'd bring people on these ghost tours that we'd go on where we'd jump out, scare people, show them all these haunted auditoriums and all these crazy places around campus. And it was honestly like the best things I did freshman year because I was such a nerd in college. I didn't want to drink at all freshman year. And then obviously sophomore year that completely changed. I just went full on into, you know, drinking LSD binge territory. 
but for the time being, that was how I had fun freshman year of college, and it was such a fucking blast. And for some reason, this is bringing back old memories of that, and that was like, fuck, almost like eight or nine years ago. Look at that little thing on the ground. It's fucking awesome. I love street art. Kudos. All right, guys. Well, it is getting late. It's like almost 2 a.m. So I'm going to head back to my car and get some sleep because that was freaking awesome. So uh, thanks for watching. Drop me a like, subscribe, get on my Patreon, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.